Brent Solomon is live back at the scene where residents are still out of their homes. Brent? Well, just imagine being told you have to get up and get out. For 10 days, you'd have to live at an emergency shelter, and all because of the actions, according to investigators, of one person. The drama outside of Grace Place Apartments last week caused fear and frustration. All residents forced out, many coming right here, the Fifth Baptist Church for emergency shelter. Ten days later... Oh yeah, yeah we getting out. How does it feel? Oh, no, it feel good. <laughs> They're packing up and moving on, but it's not time to head home just yet. They're gonna give us a hotel till the end of the month. That gives me time to find a new place if I can't go back into Grace Place. The building is still condemned after Richmond Fire says 56-year-old resident Gloria Sneed tampered with several indoor sprinklers. One of them went off, causing major water damage from the eighth floor down. It's upsetting because her actions displaced a great many people. McQuilla tries to keep a positive attitude, though he really wants to return to his own home. I've been there five years. I'm accustomed to the place. And while it could be a few more weeks before that happens, disaster and social service officials work diligently to make sure those displaced won't have to stay another night at the shelter. Trying to get them out of a gym, the weather was getting cold. Um, it's not a, it's not a, a an environment that you'd want to stay for any lengthy period of time. So it's moving time again, though none of them ever asked to leave Grace Place. I could panic and get upset and be flipping mad, but that's not going to accomplish anything for me. Well, Sneed is charged with felony destruction of property and a misdemeanor for violation of the state fire code. A fire official told me today he really has no idea what Sneed was thinking when she allegedly set off that sprinkler. We are live in Richmond this evening. Brent Solomon, NBC 12 News.